Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Well, it's been a while since I've gotten to make some sawdust in my shop and it's definitely been a while since I've gotten to make a video for you. Now, what I thought I would do is take you on a turning journey with me. There's a couple of items that I've been wanting to turn for the last week and a half and uh, I thought I would make a video to just kind of take you along for the ride. I'm gonna be making a bolt action bullet pin and a bottle opener and they're gonna be a matching set and I'm, I'm gonna give those two as a gift to a friend of mine. And then there's another buddy of mine who throws darts and uh, I've been telling him that I was going to turn him a set of darts and both the kits or all three of the kits should I say the bullet pin the bottle opener and the dart set I've got from Penn State Industries now the bottle stopper and the bolt action bullet pin I'm gonna use red heart for that uh, I really like the red heart and I think that'll be a cool set because they're chrome pins so the red heart will really stand off of that and for the dart set, I decided to use some Honey Nut. I had some Honey Nut blanks that were given to me by Robert Blanford. Actually, he gave me the Red Heart as well. Um, and I really like the Honey Nut. It's almost like a light walnut. Um, so I'm going to use that for the dart set. Now, the darts are something unique. Uh, they, you have to weigh them out because, like my buddy, he throws 20 gram darts. Uh, his weight of his darts are 20 grams. So... I picked up a gram scale so I can actually, when I turn everything, I can weigh it and make sure that I get exactly 20 grams. And with the dart kit, they give you some lead wool that you can fill inside the tube to get the weight that you need for your, or your weight you require for your dart. So it's going to be fun trying to, you know, get that uh, perfect weight on all three of the darts so they throw nicely and all. So with that being said, we got to go ahead and prepare the blanks. I'm going to uh, move over to the bandsaw. We'll get the blanks cut down. Then I'll get them drilled on the drill press here and uh, get the tubes glued in. And then we'll start turning. Alright guys, well I've got all the blanks cut, drilled, and the tubes glued in. Now the only thing left to do is take the barrel trimmer and trim the ends so that it squares up the ends of the blanks with the tubes. Now in the beginning of the video I told you I was using Honey Nut for the set of darts that I was turning and I was using Red Heart for the bottle opener and the bullet pin. Well I got to thinking, I have two sets of darts and I need to turn them anyway and Dale, the guy I was turning the darts for, he's a Miami Hurricanes fan, a big fan, and their colors are orange and green. Well, the closest thing I had to orange in the shop is some marble wood. So I decided to go ahead and uh, turn that for his darts to kind of give it a nice touch, give it that orange color, and uh, maybe we'll find him a set of green flights or something, you know, and kind of give him a little hurricane set of darts. Be a nice touch. Now I'm still gonna turn the uh, honey nut and I decided that'll be my set of darts since I like to play as well and it'll give me a chance to challenge Dell in the game and uh, so we'll go ahead and get turning now I've got the bottle stop bottle opener uh, blank in the lathe I went ahead and trimmed the edges already with the barrel trimmer and I'm not gonna bore you with all the turning we'll go through because there's eight blanks all together but uh, you know I'll, I'll be bouncing back and forth in the video between the different blanks and everything and then we'll get everything put together in the end but uh, stick with me I hope you enjoy it and uh, let's see what we can get done how you like those glasses this gives me a chance to um, turn 
uh, with the set of bowl gouges that were given to me as a gift um, by the United Federation of Woodworker members. Uh, this is one of two different gouges they gave me and I haven't had a chance to use them yet so this will give me an opportunity to play around with those. Alright, well that tells me that I am perfectly round. Now I just got to go ahead and shape it. And I must say, this is a Sorby, uh, a Robert Sorby gouge. Wow, nice. A lot quicker uh, than uh, the tool I used before as far as getting thing, you know, trued up and, and rounded off. Alright, so now that I have it rounded off, I don't need the gouge anymore. I can go ahead and change to my other tool, which is one of the uh, small ones that I've got from Rockler with the car interchangeable carbide tip bit um, and uh, we'll go ahead and get this shaped now this is the bottle opener handle so what I want to do is I want to put some decorative uh, burn marks in there I'm going to use some wire burning techniques uh, just on the handle um, just to kind of give it a little bit of a flare something I don't know we'll figure it out here in a minute as you know I'm not I'm not a avid turner I'm, I'm kind of still new at it uh, I haven't done a lot of turning so we'll see what we can make All right, so now with the blanks cut and the tubes glued inside of the blanks, I want to go ahead and do the barrel trimming. Now the barrel trimming is an important step when turning kits like this. Uh, what it does is it takes that blank and it squares it up with that inner tube. It brings it down and flushes everything up. So that way when you press your parts together, you have a nice clean press. Uh, you want to be careful when you're trimming the barrel that you don't go too fast or too far because you don't want to shave any of that inner tube away. What you want to look for is a nice shiny brass ring where you can just see that shiny brass on the end of your blank and that tells you that you're right where you need to be. So we'll go ahead and get that done. Once you've got one of the sides done, go ahead and just flip your blank over and repeat the step for the other side. We're going to do that for all six of the blanks for the two dart sets. All right, so I'm going to start with the marble wood blanks first, and I've got two of them on the lathe, and what I'll do is I'll true up one blank, slide the banjo over, true up the second one, and then I'll start shaping them to the desired shape that I want. Uh, the third of this three-piece dart set. I'll go ahead and throw that on with one of the honey nut blanks and I'll true those up and that'll leave me just one last set to finish up and should be able to get through them in a uh, pretty quick amount of time and then we'll get ready to start assembling them uh, which is going to be the fun part because then everything has to be weighed out to get that exact gram weight for these darts. So we'll go ahead and get started. Thank you. 
starting off with 150 grit and uh, then I'm going to work my way up to 600 and uh, I'll just be going uh, 150, 240, 320, 400 and then 600 uh, prior to putting the finish on. So now this is the 240 grit. I'm really hoping these darts turn out well. This will be my first time uh, turning a set of darts. And, you know, hopefully they turn out very well to where Dale will uh, enjoy using them. He plays in tournaments, so it's kind of very important that these things come out exactly to the weight that he uses and, um, you know, a good feel in his hand when he's throwing them. And now I'll finish up with the 600 grit, and then we'll get them cleaned up and see what they look like. I go with the grain after each, you know, turning uh, just to eliminate any swirl marks that may be on there so they don't appear up in the finish. Alright, now we need to go ahead and uh, get the weight of these just to make sure that they're exactly the same weight as far as the grams of just the tubes with the blanks uh, if one is less than the other then what I'll do is I'll end up you know cleaning one up until they exactly match and then when I bring the third blank on I'll uh, go ahead and bring one of these tubes back just to so I can match up the pattern and everything so all three darts look consistent Alright, so I've got the tubes off of the lathe right now and I'm just visually inspecting them to make sure that they're uh, close to accurate and my lines came out good. Now I've got this little, I picked up this little uh, gram scale, uh, just a little scale, I picked it up at a, um, off a supply store and I'm not sure how accurate the scale is, but at least. Okay, so one of the tubes is 3.6 grams. Whoa, 3.6 grams. So both tubes are matched identical for the weight. How awesome is that? All right, well that just... Uh, <laughs> that was pure luck, guys. Pure luck. <laughs> All right. So, again, bang on. All right. So now these are done. I can get the third one on, get it turned down, get it shaped and, and, and everything and decorated. And then we'll go ahead and we'll put them together before I go turning the other set, just so you can see how they go together. That way this video doesn't run too long. Uh, the second set, which is going to be the Honey Nut, will be exactly the same. And uh, at the end of the video, uh, after we get these put together and stuff, I'll show you what the other set looks like. And uh, so I won't run you through all the trouble of turning and all because it's exactly the same process. Maybe a little bit of a different decorative style and all, but uh, just the feel of these tubes with those little notches in there, with those burnt notches in there. It's got a nice, good feel on the fingertips as far as a good grip, so exciting. All right, so let's go ahead and get the third one turned down and then let's get these put together and see how to go about exactly weighing them to get that 20 ounce dart, that final dart, that final weight. And, uh, and we'll throw a few and see how well they fly. Well, it's not a completely perfectly matched set. I went a little too deep on the grooves on this particular dart here. Um, a little bit deeper than I did on these two. These two are absolutely mirror image. And this one you can tell the indentions are a little deeper and unfortunately I went too deep I can't sand them down or anything to shallow them up because then that would just completely throw off the uh, gram weight and all three of them are identically matched the exact gram weight so just have to that's the beauty of handmade I mean you know that perfectly imperfect make 
But man, what a shine. So now let's go over and uh, put these together and see what we can do with it. All right, I've got all my parts set out here and my press uh, to press them all together. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, I got this kit from Penn State Industries, as I mentioned earlier in the video. Um, and in the kit came this uh, lead wool that gets stuffed into the shafts to create that gram weight we're looking for. And we're, we're shooting for 20 grams. Uh, for each dart, a weight of 20 grams for each dart. So, and that's what Dell throws with. So what we're going to do is, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to press in the nose collar in each part and get the press set up. This press has served me very well, and if you remember, I made a video showing how to make this press, and uh, it has served me well uh, for each one of the kits that I put together. I'm really happy with it. All right, so now that I have the nose collar pressed into all three of the darts, I need to go ahead and um, I need to determine the final dart weight, which is 20 ounce or 20 grams. We know that, and I want to take my gram scale here, and so we're at 14 grams exactly, 14.0. And we're looking for 20, so I need 6 grams of lead wool uh, in this shaft. So that's 6.0. So I'll go ahead and get that into the shaft, and then we'll see uh, what our weight is. Um, and I'm not going to stuff it all the way in, just in case I have to remove some off. But that's 6.0, and that's exactly what I need. So let's go ahead and get it in the shaft. There's really no getting it out. So now I've got a few little shavings and stuff remaining. So let's once again make sure that I'm zeroed out. I'll get the parts of the dart back on here. Nineteen point eight. 19.8 So I need 0.2 grams It's 0.5 That's exactly 0.2 right there so I need all of these. Every little sliver. 20 grams. All right. So now that I have that, I can go ahead and put that dart completely together. And we'll start by Pressing the tailpiece in. And then I can take my tip.
screw it on. My shaft and then we'll unfold one of the flights. And there is our finished dart. So now I'll repeat those steps for the other three darts. And uh, we'll give this thing a flight test. All right, guys. Well, here's what we ended up with uh, through this video. We ended up with a bolt action bullet cartridge pin and bottle opener with Red Heart. Uh, that's a set that's uh, going to be given away to a friend of mine. And then I've got the set of darts for Dell. And uh, these came out more yellowish than orange. Um, I'd, like, I'd like them to come out a little bit oranger, but they came out more yellow than anything. It looks like bumblebees. <laughs> and then I have this set of honey nut darts over here. Now the darts, I ended up weighting them all out the same to 20 ounces, just in case. I'll give Dell a choice of which set that he wants. Um, and uh, that way... Um, they're all weighed the same, so if he chooses this set over this set, it'll be fine. Um, but uh, so that is it. Now there's one last final test to do, and then we'll close out. Well, all in all, the darts fly nicely. Uh, I um, really like them. I'd like to have gotten closer to that little red bullseye on the board, but at least the grouping is, is close by. I enjoyed making this dart set and the pin in the bottle uh, opener, um, and I want to thank you for sticking with me through it while I, while I made it. Now, I think Dale is going to enjoy the darts, whether he chooses the marble wood darts or the uh, honey nut. Um, either way, they're all weighed the same. But uh, I want to thank you guys, like I just said, you know, for watching this video and, and sticking with me. Now, I normally try to put out a video every week, but as you noticed, uh, if, you've, if you've watched my channel, over the last three months, uh, the videos have been spread out a little bit. And, of course, many of you know uh, I've taken on the role as general manager over at Eureka Zone. And um, that has uh, really taken up a lot of my time, and it's really uh, kind of slowed me down a little bit on making videos every week. But uh, I'm also making videos over there for the product, for the Eureka Zone product. So if you happen to be on YouTube and you haven't yet, stop by the Eureka Zone YouTube channel and check out the videos up there. I've got two um, that are episode one and two talking about our track saw system and our smart saw base. But guys, I'm going to try to get back to a regular basis of you know making videos on, on a regular basis and uh, it may not be every week but I'll try to get them closer together. I've got another little project that I want to do um, this week that I'm going to try to get out a video for that and uh, but now this week I'm going to be in a Mount Pleasant, South Carolina on Wednesday, November 6th uh, from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. at Contractor Tool and Nail and I'll be representing Eureka Zone and we'll have our tent and everything up there at the tent sale. So if you happen to be in the area of Mount Pleasant, South Carolina, uh, 1713 La Cannon Lane um, and Mount Pleasant, stop on by. I'll be there all day on Wednesday from 8 to 6. Other than that, guys, until the next video, I'll see you soon. Still can't hit it from a foot away. <laughs>